the ALS is amazing and it's the pretty pink synchrotron on the hill that can. That can what? It's biology, it's chemistry, it's physics, it's environmental work, it's work with industry, the pharmaceutical industry or the semiconductor industry. It's also CO2, sequestration. A more rational design of better catalysts, more efficient catalysts, more green catalysts. Research on ways to make computer chips with smaller, faster, cheaper transistors. I am a magnetic spectroscopist. We do a lot of work in photovoltaics, uh, biofuels, fuel cells, artificial photosynthesis, all of the new technologies that we think are going to help sustain uh, the world uh, and reduce our carbon footprint reduce climate change. But that's only part of the story. We are a national facility run by the Department of Energy. We are managed by the University of California. The Advanced Light Source is a giant x-ray machine. In fact, it's more than one x-ray machine. It is 40 x-ray beams. It has as its heart a particle accelerator. From that particle accelerator emerge electrons that are accelerated that produce x-ray beams. We make x-rays by making the electrons wiggle. So if you imagine electrons coming along here, they wiggle and beams of x-rays come out that look very much like laser pointers. And each of the beams that comes out is tuned to a particular type of x-rays that make it good for a different type of science. These aren't like the hard x-rays at the doctor's office to look at broken bones. They're soft x-rays. Soft x-rays actually don't penetrate quite as well. They tend to get absorbed on the surface of things. But they have the unique capability of making each element, whether it's carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, calcium, or iron, making each of those elements glow. And thus we can identify what those elements are. And then we can get a three-dimensional picture of the molecule, which is really helpful. You can think of each of the beam lines at the ALS like big microscopes, looking at really small samples. Really, really small samples. The width of a hair can be about 10 to 30 microns, so some of these crystals are smaller than that. The ALS is perfect for examining crystals, proteins, fossils, bone tissue. I'm studying a specific bone disease, and so we're able to take very small little fragments of bone and look at the 3D structure of them uh, and how they change with the disease. And they examine even more. To look at the effects of drought on vineyards. We have people that are working on plants, proteins, viruses, all, all kinds of stuff. Work at the ALS literally saves lives. Every new miracle drug that's been invented in the last, say, 10 years has come through a facility like ours. It's a world-renowned institution. You get to meet users from all over the place and scientists um, from all sorts of different backgrounds. And the great thing about a national lab is that everyone tends to really work together and everyone tries to attack a problem from different angles and contribute their own area of expertise. It's a great place to work.